Hello everybody! In this video I would like to share configuration example of directly attached recursive and fully specified static routes. So let's get started. For directly attached static route it is just needed to specify only the output interface. The router assumes the destination is directly attached to the output interface and the packet destination is used as the next stop address. The next hop can be an interface only for point-to-point -point interfaces. To configure directly attached static route, use the command IP route, then network with network mask and output interface ID. For forwarding engine on the Cisco device, it is essential to know which interface and outbound packet should use. A recursive static route specifies the IP address of the next hop address. The recursive lookup occurs when the router queries the routing information base to locate the route towards the next hop IP address and then cross-references the adjacency table. To configure a recursive static routes, use the command IP route, the network, network mask and next hop IP address. Static route recursion may allow the static route to stay installed while it changes route to a different outbound interface in the same direction in case a link fails. But there may be a problem if the recursive lookup resolves to a different interface pointing to the opposite direction. In such a case it is good to use a fully specified static route which uses the, both the output interface and the next hop IP address. To configure a fully specified static route use the command IP route network network mask output interface ID and next hop IP address. For this example for static routes configuration I'm going to use this topology where I have four routers and I have um, loopback interfaces on R1, R3 and R4 routers and I've pre-configured all IP addresses on all routers so I can focus only on um, configuring uh, static routes. So let's get started, show IP interface brief just to check uh, interfaces up and we have IP addresses, show IP interface brief, interfaces up and we have IPs, show IP interface brief, we have everything is ok, show IP interface brief all IPs are configured and all interfaces are up. So let's start from R1. I'm going to use directly attached uh, touch static road, uh, roads for R1 and I need to configure uh, static routes for 10.1.23, 10.1.24, 10.1.34 and to two uh, subnets for loopback, uh, loopback interfaces. Conf T in uh, IP route uh, 10, 1, 23, 0, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 2, G, 0, 1. Next one is 24. And this, uh, this is 24 subnet mask. And 34. 34. Now I will back in uh, subnets. 192. 168 30 0 IP route uh, 192 168 4 0 2 5 5 2 5 5 2 5 5 0 0 1 show IP route as you can see all our static uh, routes are in uh, our uh, routing table and if you notice it's uh, they are showing like directly connected we are interface g01 this is for um, directly attached uh, routes r2 i need to configure uh, routes for to all our uh, sub subnet uh, inter uh, subnets for loopback interfaces and to this uh, 34 subnet conf t ip route i'm gonna use a uh, recursive route for sorry, recursive static route for uh, r2 uh, 192 168 10 
0 and here we have 10 1 12 1 to show IP route just to check it's there okay and next one is uh, subnet 3 for loopback subnet and uh, next hop IP is 23.1 and next one is 4 and uh, next hop IP is uh, 24.1 and the last one IP route 10 1 34 uh, 0 255 255 255 0 for this one I'm gonna use R4 uh, router 10 1 th uh, 24 1 okay uh, and show IP route you can see static routes they are in a routing table everything is good let's go to R3 for R3, I need to configure uh, loopback uh, subnets uh, 1 and 2 and 2 uh, subnets 12 and 24. Conf T, IP route uh, 192, and I'm gonna use fully specified static route for R3 and R4. And this one is gonna be G02. I'm gonna use G02 interface and uh, 10, 1, 34, um, 10, 1, 34, 1. Uh, 4, 1, 1, 4, 1, 2, 1, 6, 8, uh, 1. I'm gonna use G01 output interface and 232 232 and the same for uh, subnet 12 10 1 12 uh, 0 2 1 and for subnet 24 I'm gonna use uh, subnet 30 uh, next hop 341 and outbound inter output interface 02 this is gonna be 10 1 24 0 and g02 34 1 show IP route show IP route as you can see we have all our static routes configured and let's go to the last router 4 for router 4 I need to configure a 23 subnet a loop back subnet 3 and loop back uh, subnet 1 and uh, subnet 12 uh, conf t ip route uh, ip route 192 192 uh, g01 uh, 10 1 24 2 the same for 12 I'm gonna use the same output uh, interface and the uh, next hop address 10 1 12 and for 23 oh sorry it's incorrect no and it should be mask 30 252 for 23 I'm gonna use um, G02 in output interface and uh, 34 3 next hop IP the same for 
loopback subnet number 3192168330 and this is mm, subnet 24 show ip route uh, all our static routes are in table so let's go and try to ping for example pin 192.168.1.1 successful 3.1 successful let's try 10.1.12 1 for example successful 2 successful uh, 23 1 success 23 2 and for example I'm gonna use our source add uh, source uh, loopback interface loopback 0 and it's also successful now let's try just from router 1 ping 192 168 1 Oh, four, sorry, four, one. Successful and three, one. Successful. And let's just try ten, ten, one, thirty four, three. Source, uh, look back zero. Okay, everything is working. For this example, I didn't use uh, floating static routes, which I'm gonna show in next video. At this point, I would like to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I wish you success in your studying and I hope to see you soon. Ciao, ciao!